So this is the mouse I used to have. It is the Logitech MX18. I've uh, this mouse came out in uh, the year 2005. I've had this mouse, I believe, 2006 or seven, most likely probably seven, uh, early 2007. And I've had this mouse ever since. And just recently, I decided to get a brand new mouse because I've been using this forever. Uh, this is this has gone through so many uh, Counter Strike 1.6 days. Uh, this was beautiful a lot of uh, kills with this you can see the wear and tear of the logo um, the m what actually forced me to, to get a new mouse I wasn't actually planning on getting a new mouse was that the wheel um, kind of just stopped working um, it would glitch or sometimes wouldn't work so I ended up just looking for a new mouse luckily this uh, Razer Diamondback uh, Chroma went on sale and happened to go on sale right when this uh, wheel mouse uh, malfunctioned so I immediately bought it and I am very happy with the results of what I'm seeing I love the lights this is it's a beautiful mouse now let's go into the um, the base of this so you can see the base of the uh, MX-18 is a lot wider it's a very pear shape um, uh, bottom it's a wide base so it's a lot easier to move around and not uh, tilt your mouse over so it has a very good sturdy low center of gravity it has three sliding or it's actually I'm sorry five sliding points here they're very small but they're perfect for what they're, they're used for um, they're kind of round shaped at the very end and um, like I said this this doesn't have any adjustable weights but it was a perfect size for me um, when I'm putting my hand over it um, you can go ahead and put it right over it. your palm just fits perfectly in that where it's holding it for the size of my, my hand and uh, my mouth, my finger can just kind of slide into this little groove over here, and it doesn't want to glide on the on the on the mouse pad. So this was a great mouse, um, loved it. Uh, but it's time for a change. It's time for something new. This is 1600 DPI, going on to 16,000 DPI for whatever reason anyone would use that uh, that high of a DPI, but. Um, it's so far I am loving the results of this so if you look at the nice slick design this is a lot this feels a lot longer as far as the button design so if you compare these together they're about the same length um, the lengthwise they're about the same but since this actually comes up higher when you put your hand over it shortens your finger distance to the um, left and right click so you're um, and it raise nice and easy so you you know you go ahead and clicking on there is perfect now when you go to this mouse it's a lower profile and so when you put your hand over um, you're kind of reaching for the left click and right click and it's I may I feel my hands a little I'm forcing my hand to do a little bit more of a curve than I would naturally with this um, MX518 uh, but Overall, I don't feel too uncomfortable with this. My pinky kind of just hangs off to the side there, which I don't find too big of a deal um, when playing video games or just you know, natural browsing or doing any uh, photo or video editing. This is um, not a big deal. Uh, I know the bottom of this is angled in, so you'll see it's not the same as the wider base. It's a very narrow base. Uh, the rubber sides here to hold that is curved in. Now again this is an ambidextrous mouse so everything's symmetrical from down the middle. Um, so you know it's it's not shaped for a specific hand, it's for both hands. So you have it going um, in there and now when you're holding it I've when I kind of 
hold it, I pinch in the bottom here, and it makes my hand curve a little bit. Other overall, I don't feel any uncomfortability. It's just perfectly fine for me. And then uh, clicking it, it feels pretty good. I like the tactile feel. Uh, the clicking is very good. The mouse clicking or the scroll wheel clicking has a good tactile feedback. The um, the scroll itself has uh, stops every time it rolls through. It's not a smooth roll, but I do like this uh, the feeling of it coming back uh, and feeling the clicks as you uh, scroll it. Um, they have the Razer logo here, and it goes perfectly with the um, the color scheme as it's going and waving through here. And for me, again, I disable these buttons. I don't even use these really. Uh, overall, yeah, this is a great mouse. Uh, Again, it's laser, optical, laser. So, let's go ahead and see what it looks like uh, with me playing some video game. Okay, so I thought this is a pretty cool feature. Um, this is the, the, the setting that I chose for the lights. Now, I chose, once I open up Overwatch and get the game and it launches, the mouse itself actually changes its color scheme to the Overwatch's color scheme, which is the black, orangey, yellow. And I think that's super cool that it's built in. Um, I'm sure they updated that because it's a gaming mouse and Overwatch is a very popular game. Uh, I'm curious to see what kind of color scheme it does in other games. I, this is the only one I have installed right now. Um, so, but yeah, that's super cool that it does that. It goes over to that color and once I exit the game, it goes back to its original uh, 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 setting. Alright, so uh, this is me with the Overwatch and I'm playing with uh, Roadhog. And you can see I don't really use much surface space here. I, mean, I guess I'm still walking in a straight line, but um, as the enemies approach, I don't generally uh, swipe across the uh, mouse pad since I, do, I am at 1800 um, uh, DPI. So I don't really need to move around and use a lot of surface space. Uh, I've been told, yeah, lower your DPI so you get much more accuracy. But I don't really play with characters that have um, really that require that low kind of accuracy, like snipers. So um, if I do, I guess I could change the settings for those specifically. But here you can see, I don't really use a lot of um, uh, surface space. And here I'm moving over to the MX18. Uh, pretty much the same thing you see there. I do have some mouse lift on both the um, the Razer Diamond Back Chroma and the MX-18 uh, kind of the same motion not too much of a difference you see my hand is a little bit more off angle to the right um, with the MX-18 because of the higher profile versus the lower profile of the Logic, I'm sorry, the uh, Razer Back uh, but again kind of the same movements not a huge difference and you see here back over to the um, the razor back I am I do have a uh, mouse lift uh, more sort of from the front end uh, not too big because the mouse is a little bit uh, much lighter actually than the MX-18 Logitech and um, but as far as surface area and movement don't use a lot of it um, my fast movements are only when they're very close but further away uh, it's not as bad so switching back over to the MX-18 you'll see my hand is over again it's angle a little more it's a little higher because it has a higher profile and that back end is bulky um, and that's generally what I like and what I've been used to uh, but the diamond back not bad so you see here I kind of flick my wrist over once uh, the, the enemies get closer just so I can switch over more okay got a little higher profile here you can see uh, I don't really go very far away so my I don't have to use my arm or elbow very much it's more of just a little bit of my wrists very um, uh, short lateral movements and I did I just lift the mouse when I go a little further away uh, so yeah not that bad it's great as far as uh, the feel of the mouse I the I thought first when I was uh, purchasing it the buttons on the sides is an ambidextrous mouse and it's very symmetrical as far as the buttons on both sides I thought that was gonna be a big deal or problem but it wasn't really it was uh, I just disabled the buttons and I don't even feel it at all. My actually my ring finger is over there is just above it. Now I chose a different character here. I chose May if you're familiar with the game. Um, May is um, the 
ice character so it switched over to a b frost color blue which is pretty damn cool and uh, to recognize the different character choice there it's built in or it already has a program to change the color uh, to the character uh, so I will have to check the other characters to see if there's any more that changes but that generally is really cool okay now switching over to back to the MX 18 or 518 um, you'll see you know it's uh, I can see it from the front there I have a lot of uh, mouse lift but again not uh, not so much movement uh, my hand is more relaxed there you see it's a little bit wider because it's a uh, you know it's like a bigger mouse and it's, it just feels better uh, I wish the chroma was a little bit wider than that I know they have the other I guess the adder uh, mouse or the mamba I believe um, are a little bit bigger and maybe we'll go check those out but this was on sale this was I bought this for thirty six dollars I believe on Amazon it was a lightning deal uh, I saw the mouse and I was like like let's, let's go for it so purchased that and it's a narrow mouse but I do do enjoy it and I do like using it and it's gonna be my main mouse I'm gonna go ahead and say add to cart